Hey folks, this video I'm going to go over how I connected the factory DVD player in my 2005 Chevy Tahoe to my aftermarket stereo. Now when I went to the audio store near me, they told me I needed to get an expensive harness. And I had a couple options. One of them was the GM OS 14 for about 140 bucks, or that other one there for about 200 bucks. <laughs> I didn't do that. There's a stereo up there. All I did is I bought a uh, GM OS 04. And when you try to connect something like this, which I just paused the video, uh, when you try to connect this to that, it doesn't support that. It supports the OnStar, which this has, which I have disconnected. Uh, it supports for the audio from that only. So I have simply found the wiring going from here. I just simply dropped this down. This was three 10 mil bolts. Boom, boom, boom. Drop this down. There's two plugs. There's going to be a plug with a green and a brown. And those are going to correspond up there. And all I did is I took my multimeter and put two leads on here, or one lead, excuse me, one lead from here, and I connected it to up there to trace back the wire between here and here, because this also had XM radio, which sucked. So I took that out as well. So the only thing that's left is this, the OnStar and this, and the XM, all share the same colors. So all I did is I just simply took a multimeter, disconnected this, set this off to the side, traced the wire from here to the head unit. And then I went from that, I took a headphone jack, wire, because this particular deck has uh, rear auxiliary. So I simply used that, so there's no wire sticking out of the dash. Zoom in on that. All I did is I just simply connected that to the wiring of this for the DVD player okay the one is the left audio and the one is the right audio there's gonna be three total because it's gonna be a ground source for the audio which uh, don't use because you'll get uh, what they call an alternator wine or ignition wine and that's kind of annoying when you try to listen to a movie going down the road now granted I did get headphones for this but if I decided to just let the kids sit there and watch a video while we go down the road without having to have the headphones on. I have that option. So, essentially all I have done is I just piggybacked off of the wiring and put it on a headphone jack. I'll go more in depth later if you'd like. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like the video. I know it's not showing much, but I hope it helps somebody else because... Honestly, paying 140 to $200 for a harness is just overrated when you don't really need it. From dropping the DVD player to tracing the wires and putting it back together, it was like 10 minutes. Done. It works just fine. Now, granted, I did end up getting the left and right mixed up, so I do have to fix that, which I will do later on. But for right now, everything works just fine. This also has... The rear seat audio controls and climate controls, which with the GMO so 4 it will not work. You turn that on, you will lose the rear channel audio. I hope this video helps. If it is helpful, give it a thumbs up. If it's not, give it a thumbs down. Don't blame you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.